On the 25th of September, 1066 AD, two great warriors met on the field of battle at a place known as Stamford Bridge in England. On one side, there was the great Varangian conqueror, King of Norway, Harald Hardrada, come to press his claim on England through his relation to King Canute of Denmark. On the other side was Harold Godwin's son, King of England, a loose alliance of kingdoms that had been forged into one larger kingdom, but still he did not have all of the loyalty of his men. Harald Hardrada was unprepared for Harold's coming, and as Harold had sped his way across the country, Harald was caught unawares. Still, the Norwegians held the tactically useful position of the bridge, and it became a bloody battle. Thousands died on both sides. However, at the end of the day, Harald Godwinson stood victorious over Harald, having fulfilled his promise of defeating Harald in combat and giving him only six feet of English land, plus however much he was taller. In a show of generosity, Harald allowed the Norwegians to take whatever their remaining number was back to their boats and leave his land. Then, on the 15th of October of the same year, came a battle at Hastings. Harold Godwinson, having just defeated the Norwegians, had to rush his army on foot down to meet with the Norman fight uh, with the Norman force. Being only somewhat recovered from his losses, having to force march his army across the country, losing most of, most of his great fighters during the battle against the Norwegians, and having the Duke of York withhold his forces from the battle against the Normans, perhaps in some attempt to claim the throne for himself later, Harold was forced to make do with a much inferior force than he would have normally had. Many of the soldiers had practically no experience compared to their Norman counterparts. Norman knights, who were well-trained in the art of combat, descendants of Viking warriors who had plundered Normandy in the past. Yet Harold Godwinson defiantly fought against the, Nor uh, the Norman invaders, and almost won the day. They held up well against the Norman attacks, but... Eventually, as it seemed that Harold was going to be able to make a breakthrough, the Normans fainted, uh, the Normans made a fake retreat, a typical tactic. Harold's men, inexperienced in warfare, rushed forward thinking that this was their time to defeat the Normans once and for all, and instead found themselves routed and surrounded. Among the dead was Harold Godwinson himself. This was the end of Anglo-Saxon England. With this change, French became essentially the official language of the English court. Normans took up all of the land of England from their Anglo-Saxon lords before, and a great transformation occurred in England. In no more than a few hundred years, the English language had completely changed from an inflected Germanic language to something closely resembling the English of modern day, though not in form necessarily in vocabulary, though the words are, of course, unrecognizable to many people. But Middle English uh, is much more like our language than the Anglo-Saxon spoken just a century before. The culture of England completely changed with the introduction of both French linguistic and law elements to England, but with it a host of problems. Dynastic disputes would run between the French and the English for years. In short, the history of Europe was changed forever. The future of Europe, where Britain would eventually become ascendant among all other powers, was written. But it didn't need to happen that way. There is a possibility that England could have stayed in Anglo-Saxon hands, whether it was 
due to the Norwegians not attacking, whether it was due to a victory at Hastings, if it was a more successful victory at Stamford Bridge, perhaps Harold would have been better prepared to fight William of Normandy. Perhaps had those two groups not so quickly attacked in succession, the English would have been able to better repel them. This is a question that I hope to explore a little bit through this Crusader Kings playthrough that I'm doing, where... Uh, as Harold Godwinson, we fight off the Normans and the Norwegians, and then proceed to expand English territory. What would an Anglo-Saxon England, unconquered by the Normans, look like?